The more you love someone, the more you may be able to see their vices and realize what annoys you about them. Of course, if this person is your best friend, then you still have a really great relationship. You may fight occasionally, but you wouldn't trade them for the world. You're able to get past certain things that you may stew over with a casual friend. That being said, there are definitely signs your best friend is mad at you, and despite knowing them like the back of your hand, you may also not notice these things. Here are seven signs to tell if your best friend is still angry with you, so that you can officially resolve the mess. And we are starting right now. Hello, I'm Ned, and welcome to Uber Mind, the YouTube channel that educates you on your mental health and self improvement journey. For more content just like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so that you are the first to be notified when there are new video released. Number 1. There's a bit of silence on their end. Maybe you've said your piece and you think it's all over and fine, but then you don't get your daily text from them. They might send you memes or a status update about their life every now and then, but recently, they've been pretty silent. They respond to you, and on the surface, it seems like you're fine. But it may be worth a little digging with them to see if you all are good. Number 2. There are one-warded responses. On top of maybe some silence from them, they're really short with their replies. This actually may not be a sign that you miss, considering that it's going to be super obvious. It could be nothing, maybe they're just really busy or didn't feel like they needed a longer reply, which is super valid. Again, there's no harm in asking what's up. Number 3. They're being kind of quiet in person. If you see each other often, it's definitely worth it to see how they act in person. Texting is difficult to gauge someone's tone or behavior, especially if you suspect that they're angry at you. Your mind may put an attitude in a text when there really isn't anything there. If your bestie is also kind of rigid or quiet when you're hanging out, that may be a red flag. Again, this can totally be attributed to other things. But, if you think they're still mad about a fight you just had or you may have done something that could have pissed them off, odds are, this behavior isn't a coincidence. Number 4. They get annoyed very easily. If you two have a fight about the same thing all the time, that's something to note. Obviously, there's some underlying tension about something in particular that you both need to resolve. And maybe your friend will get pissed off about the smallest things. That's also something to note, because it may not be the specific situation that got them angry, it may just be there are some hidden bad vibes from them. Number 5. They're being passive-aggressive. If you ask if anything is bothering them, and they give an I'm fine, 9 times out of 10, they're probably not fine. And if, after that, they start making passive-aggressive remarks or texts, you can bet your bottom they're not fine. Sometimes it's hard to express how you feel, or even understand why you're mad about something. So your friend may just be stewing and need to get it out in this sort of muted way. Just sit them aside and try and touch on the fact that they're coming off this way. Do not get hostile back. That is super counterproductive and high-key childish, in my opinion. Number 6. They may say something that they know will make you angry. If something is weighing on their subconscious, they're going to want to get it off their chest. However, it may come in a less than productive way. Just like you know all of their buttons, they know yours, and will push them if they feel they need to. Of course, they're not doing it to be vindictive, but they may say something they know will piss you off. Try not to fall for it, although that's easier said than done. Just brush it off and don't get angry back. Number 7. They're leaning on others more than you. This may be the hardest to stomach. As your best friend, you are each other's confidants, partners in crime, and just all-around soulmates in a friend capacity. You know everything about anything they've been through, and let's face it, you give the best advice. So, what happens when your best friend starts going to other people for that support and love? Well, your mayday, mayday alerts may be going off. Don't freak out. 
you're both allowed to have other friends. Jealousy is not something you're playing with here. But when you think your bestie may not be mad over a fight you just had, and the next thing you know, they're all over their other friends. That may be time to have a chat with them. Again, don't freak out or overthink, but be honest and frank. It's the best you can do to make sure you both stay friends for years to come. So, was this video helpful? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and share with your friends, so we can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell. Also, be sure to check our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.